My name is Destiny Rigsby. I work at a grooming parlor currently as an assistant. My husband and I moved to Guam um, about a year and a half ago from North Carolina. So when I first moved to the island, this is my first experience overseas. It's been a little challenging for me. Um, I have developed some anxiety, but ever since I started volunteering at GAIN and working with the animals and making a little bit of a difference has helped me. I like words can't explain how much it's helped me and my anxiety and giving me a purpose. So the dogs have done for me more than I could ever do for them. I wanted to start fostering just to make a difference. Try to save one dog at a time, bring them into my home and help them get adopted and really just get them out of the shelter because some of them are stuck there for a really long time. I've had a handful of fosters and I can say that they've all found forever homes. We're super happy about that, me and my husband. My favorite foster ever is Meritu. She was rescued from the side of the road with two broken back legs and brought into a vet clinic that I worked for at the time. She was going to be euthanized because the person who found her didn't own her. They were just a good Samaritan, but she just had such a will to live that we decided collectively as the staff that we would save her, start a GoFundMe to pay for her surgery, and so we did. And then after she had surgery to fix both of her broken back legs, she came home with me and I fostered her for a few months. She was stuck in casts, had to be helped outside to go to the bathroom. What you doing? What you doing, Mom? She required a lot of attention, but she was totally worth it because she was the sweetest dog ever. Once she was out of casts, I had her for a few more months while we were searching for a forever home. We never thought she'd be able to walk again, normally. Good girl. Good but she girl. transformed into a normal everyday dog and it was just the greatest experience of my life. Sit. Good girl. You ready? Go get it. And when she found her forever home, it was very bittersweet, but super good moment. Especially when you're a foster, those are the moments that you really look forward to. I'm not able to foster currently because we live on base and I have two dogs of my own. We just don't have the room. But right now I'm focusing on volunteering just because I don't have the room to be able to accommodate three dogs in our house on base. Like my personal dog to play with them. Just to like bring her and put her here to like She's super friendly, so like... Teach other dogs? Yeah. I don't have a problem with it. Okay. So I volunteer at GAIN to teach the dogs commands, post them on social media, really do anything to get them some attention, help them get adopted and fostered. A dog that I currently work with, his name is Scooter. He's been at the shelter since he was eight weeks old, and he is currently now around 10 months old. So he's literally lived his entire life at the shelter, and he's known nothing else ever. I think all of the shelter dogs are amazing. They all have their own little personalities, little weird things about them, but they're all incredible dogs who deserve forever homes. What you see from the outside of the kennel isn't always a good perception of who they really are inside of the kennel. So I want to prompt everyone to get to know the dogs that are inside of the kennel because what you see from the outside isn't always true or isn't always what it seems to be. So I think all of them deserve the best homes and to get out of the shelter. To anyone who's interested in adopting or fostering, I say go for it. Just remember that these dogs are coming from a shelter environment. So they do take a few weeks to acclimate to this new life. Being in a home is really different for them. So they're gonna take a little time, but it's so worth it in the end to see them thrive and become happy dogs and to not see them in the environment that they were in. <laughs>